This is what cyclists don't tell you about cycle clothing. What is it with all that lycra anyway? Experienced cyclists may know all this and may scoff at parts of it, but if you can resist giving me a thumbs down, please, because there are people who are new to cycling or are coming back to it as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. And I think we all want to keep those people cycling once life slowly returns to normal. So I hope you find this useful. Let's get started. I'm gonna go through the clothing from the top down. Starting with the helmet, just get one. This one's relatively cheap. I have a cask which could be about 50 quid more expensive, if not more. The difference between the two is absolutely marginal. Tends to be with a road cycling helmet, there's no peak, but there is a peak on a mountain bike helmet. Then there's caps, very good for the follically challenged like me because you can easily get sunburnt through the, the slats in your helmet. Some people wear them off the bike like that. Hmm, bit hipster for me. Uh, in winter, you can get caps with flaps to protect your ears and if you don't like the peak on the front which i do because it helps shield your eyes if you don't like the peak for winter you can get like a skull cap thing which fits under the helmet too i always ride in glasses you can get interchangeable lenses for different weather conditions these are very focals or at least the bits underneath are very focals so i can read my garmin now clothing, base layers. Some cyclists always wear these, even in summer, the thin sleeveless wicking tops to keep the sweat away. Uh, and in winter, long sleeve thermal tops work well too. I have a merino short sleeve one, which is absolutely fantastic for adding a few degrees of comfort when it's spring and you're not really sure what to wear. On top of a base layer, I like a warm windproof jacket for winter, like this red Castelli. I liked it so much, I also bought a blue one too. The printing down the sleeves is reflective ink, which is good for safety. I'll put a snood around my neck and good gloves because it's always colder on a bike because you generate your own wind chill. Most road cyclists ride in what are called track mitts. Really not sure why they're called mitts and they have varying degrees of padding in the palm, sometimes none at all. You can also get long fingered gloves. They are typically more often used off-road. For winter, you can get all manner of warm gloves. Mitts tend to be warmest. Then in the shoulder season, you might want to go back to gloves. I've yet to find a pair that are really waterproof. So this is the second climb of the day. Warmer weather brings out the traditional cycling jersey with or without a base layer. Some are deliberately thin for hot weather, like in Morocco. Some are incredibly basic. A short zip, just three rear pockets, and that's it. They're fine for training. And in this case, I loved the logo. A full length zip is better for ventilation when it's really warm. I like the Rafa Brevet jersey for touring, with pockets on the front, loads at the back, and one inside with cable routing for headphones, but they are the opposite of cheap. And if you are going to wear headphones when you're cycling, I know people say you shouldn't, but it's done, it's worth cutting one of them off, it'll double your battery life, and you'll be more aware of traffic. Now this is pretty much what I'd wear for summer and shoulder season touring. Uh, this is not a long sleeve shirt. I thought this was amazing when I first came to cycling. These are just arm warmers. They just peel down and you can have them around your wrists if it's getting a little bit warm. Take them off completely and that small bundle just goes in your back pocket. Perfect for a summer's day. And equally this gilet, it adds visibility in this case. But just take it off and it'll pack down to nothing. This is pretty much my summer and shoulder season touring kit and it's incredibly versatile. For obvious reasons, I don't leave home in Scotland without a waterproof jacket. Probably the best ones at the moment are made from Gore-Tex Shake Dry, but they only come in black or grey, and I prefer a brighter colour to be seen. Fluorescent is thought of as a bit naff by many cyclists. I have a lime green one which I use on busy roads, and a red one for most riding. Gore-Tex does breathe well, but if you're going hard, you'll get wet through sweat regardless. Don't buy a jacket with no breathability, it'll be boiling the bag. 
Let's talk about leg wear and a mistake that many people make. I know I did. You do not wear normal underwear under your cycling kit. These go next to the skin and if possible you try to wash out the shorts or the longs after every ride to get the sweat and the dirt out of the pad and you're less likely to get a spotty backside. There are two types of shorts, lycra and baggies. Lycra is for road, baggies for mountain bikes or you might use a combination if you're touring. But baggies aren't padded. Some come with a padded insert, others you wear padded lycra shorts or specific padded underwear underneath. With the popularity of gravel bikes, there's a move to try and sell a gravel specific short and it's something like this with either side pockets or, or something at the back. While they may be useful for touring, really I think this is just more marketing gimmick. The pads. The more you pay, usually the better the pad. People will disagree. I'm a fan of ASOS, it's very personal, but I try to buy them at the end of the summer in the sale because they are expensive. Some shorts end at the waist, most are bibs which come over the shoulder. This makes it harder for women to take a comfort break, a cycling euphemism for a roadside pee. But bibs just hold their fit against your body better when you're stretched out over the bike. Everything I've said about pads applies equally to long winter tights and three quarter length tights. These can come with integral pads, although some come with no pads and you wear your shorts underneath. Just as you get arm warmers, there are knee and leg warmers. They turn normal shorts into three quarter or full length tights. And these are fantastically versatile. They can be rolled up, put in a back pocket or brilliant for bike packing where you can stick them in your luggage and they give you a wide range of temperatures and weathers that you can cope with. Obviously, you don't wear them like this. That's it, and as I say, I'm sorry if you felt you knew all that. I'm just trying to help those who've come to cycling as a result of the COVID-19 crisis and keep them cycling when life slowly returns to normal. There are plenty more videos on my channel, and if you like it, please subscribe, hit the bell notifications, tell your friends, and I'll try and grow this channel. See you next time, bye.